What's up, everybody? So you're thinking about moving to Yahats, or you want to know more information about Yahats? Well, I am here to go over all things Yahats, and we are going to get after it right now. first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad, everything on the Oregon coast and especially Yahats, then subscribe below, hit the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about what's going on on the coast and when I drop new videos about different places on the coast. My name is Eddie and I get calls, emails, texts every single day from people just like you looking to make a move to the coast. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give me a call. Shoot me a text, send me an email. Let's jump on a Zoom. And I'm gonna help you make a smooth move to the coast today, tomorrow, next year. Doesn't matter. I'm just here to help. So today we're gonna go over Yahats, where it is, um, and just the ins and outs of Yahats. I'm gonna just go over a bunch of stuff. So, first, what I wanna do is I want to basically take you to yachts so let's go there boom we are going to go to see it's not even on the map we're going to zoom in right here yachts oregon boom it is one square mile in the city proper but i would say that yachts doesn't actually start and end in Yahats. It's a little bit further north. If we go right here, this is where I would consider the start of Yahats to be at the Reynolds Creek Bridge. So when you're driving south from Waldport, which is eight miles north of Yahats, you're going to come across the Reynolds Creek Bridge. And if you drive the area a lot, you're going to come to that area and you're going to realize that's Reynolds Creek Bridge. We're now in Yahats. Now, all of this is called the unincorporated area of Lincoln County. That is the area that isn't in the city limits of Yahats. So if you're thinking about doing a vacation rental, it is not the same rules as you would find in Yahats. The rules for this area is going to be the Lincoln County rules which are a little different. But once we get into Yahats, there's a bunch of cool stuff here um, that obviously that's why they call it the gym of the Oregon coast. And it's right along the Yahats River. It's one of the most beautiful places on the Oregon coast. So if you're trying to uh, figure out or you have figured out that Yahats may be the place that you want to go to, or you're just wanting to know more information about Yahats, or you're wondering, why is he calling it Yachts? I thought it was Yachts. Whatever it is, just let me know. But I'm here to clarify for you. It is Yachts. That's so how everybody, well, locals, people that are in the know, they say Yachts. It's so like hots, like hots potatoes. Yachts. 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 Nope. Yachets? Nope. Yachatis? No. Yahats. Practice with me. Yahats. Yahats. All right. So now that you know how to say Yahats, we are going to talk about a few things uh, about Yahats. Where is it? Well, I'm going to zoom out here. And we're going to start from Portland. It's about three hours from Portland to Yahats. Okay, so let me just go here. Ooh. There we go. Boom. So that's the city. That's city proper. It's just a little bit north. I'm going to throw on... Literally a topography map. Uh, like satellite. There we go. Okay, so when we're in Yahats, how far are we from things? Let's go to what you might know. 
Okay, you might know where the valley is, and that's where you're going to get all your major universities in Oregon. You've got Eugene on the southern Willamette Valley. That's where the University of Oregon is. Skodex. And then you got Corvallis, which is a.k.a. Corvegas, a.k.a. The Dam, <clears throat> a.k.a. Oregon State University right here. This is where the Beavis are located, right here, along the, Will the Willamette River. So the Willamette River, this is the Willamette Valley. And when you're right here in Eugene, you've got the McKinsey, you've got the Willamette. They coalesce or they converge and become the Willamette River. And every major town in Oregon is along the Willamette River. We got Salem, that's the state's capital. And we got Portland, up in the north central portion of the state. Um, and that's <clears throat> Portland is right where the Willamette River and the Columbia River. Are. So you're trying to go to yachts. You're coming from anywhere in the world and you're gonna fly in. You're gonna fly into Portland or you're gonna fly into Eugene. I would say you probably wanna fly into Eugene because it's about an hour and a half from Eugene. Fly into Eugene, drive over to Florence, about a half an hour, 23 miles north, there's yachts. Or you can go to Eugene, you can drive an hour and a half to Newport, get some groceries, and then you can go south, about 30 minutes, to yachts. Um, or you can fly into Portland, and do all the Portland stuff you want to do. And then it's about a three hour drive, three to three and a half hour drive, depending on which route specifically you take. Um, and that's that's it. There's only really one way, there's one way in to the north, and one way out to the south, or vice versa. So there's, it, there's just 101, Highway 101. We call it the 101. Um, Highway 101 stretches the entire coastline. Sometimes you see the ocean, sometimes you don't. Sometimes it goes inland, sometimes it's right on the water. I have a couple of different drive videos, so if you want to see the drive video from Yahats to Florence, hop on the channel and go check that out. But when you're in Yahats, you are basically, you know, when I say when all the worst things could break out in the world, where would you want to be? I would say yachts because it's so isolated. You know, there's not, now that's only if you can kind of survive on your own because there's probably not going to be people coming to yachts to save anybody. But I would say it's so, uh, it's just a perfect spot on the Oregon coast that that's a great place. So 23 miles from Newport, 23 miles from Florence to the south, eight miles from Walport. So that's its location. Okay, you're living in Florence, or you're living in yachts. Where are you going to go shopping? I'd say that's probably the first thing that you want to know. Where are you going to go shopping? You're either going to go down to Florence. Okay, well, if you're going to eat in, or you're going to buy something, you know, you get some quick groceries, maybe a loaf of bread, maybe some eggs, maybe, you know, some half and half, some coffee. You're going to go to CNK Market right here in Yachts. Um, or you might go, if you need to go quickly, you might go up to, to Walport, and go to Ray's Market, okay? So Ray's Market is right here. Ray's Food Place, excuse me. But <clears throat> we call it Ray's in Walport. Now, if you wanna go to a little bit bigger shopping, you're probably gonna go to Newport. Um, and Newport is 23 miles north of Yahats. It is the hub of the county. It's got shopping. No major stores, but it's got everything you need. It's got, um, obviously, the beautiful Yukona Bay Bridge. It's got Fred Meyer. It's got Safeway. It's got all kinds of restaurants. It's got, um, you know, if you need home goods. It's got um, builder's supply. It's got all kinds of stuff in Newport. Or you can go south, and you can go to Florence. Same distance. It's going to take you a little longer because right south of Yahats, it's where you get to uh, Pete Perpetua. You get down to Hasita Head. Those are all places. Um, it's going to be a little bit slower of a drive, but then you hit Florence. All the same types of shopping there. It just, you know, it's going to be dependent upon what you want to do and where you want to go. 
but you're gonna have to figure that out. So if you're gonna do little shopping, you got a little market in Yachts, you can go up to Walport. If you're gonna do bigger shopping, you probably go to Florence or Newport. If you wanna go to Costco, um, you wanna go to Red Robin, those types of restaurants, those types of stores, you wanna go to you know, Home Depot, you're gonna either have to go to Corvallis, Albany, or you're gonna have to go to Eugene, or you might go, you're probably not gonna go to Salem, but that's another place you can go to. Those are the major cities, the major hubs in Oregon. You know, I live in the Newport area. I always jam over to the valley. That's what we call the Willamette Valley, the valley. Just say it with me, the valley. You gotta sound like a local. So when you're going over to the valley, you might go to Corvallis, you might go to Albany, Costco. You probably aren't gonna get Sam from Yahats, but Eugene might be your spot. You might like to go south. You might like to go uh, through Florence, head over through Vanita, go check out Eugene. Um, that's the, the, the those are the options for shopping okay but let's say you don't want to go shopping you just want to go get a good meal well yahats has some great places i'm not going to go over the details of each one but you've got the drift in you've got a couple places right here you got luna fish house you've got um owner restaurant we've gone there a couple times it's really good uh, the other one it's got good breakfast green salmon good coffees there uh, i love to go to the c note i actually go there quite a bit when i drop in to get a burger to get a drink it's got a good, it's a good spot to go to um, if you like kind of pub food um, but a really great atmosphere and uh, good people there yahats brewing is good um, a breakfast spot um, if you're not going to go to green salmon is leroy's blue well it's a good spot um, those are some options. Those are really the big options in Yahats that you're probably going to go to. Um, the other place that you might go shopping is the Dollar General, which has you know some things you might want, and it's like a miniature Walmart. If you've never been there, like real, 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 real miniature Walmart. And then you've got the Village Bean. It's a drive-through coffee shop that's pretty good. I always get. Oh, I won't tell you what I get, but it's good. Um, I like it. So there's Yahats right there. That's what you where you might go. Now, if you're going to go north, um, Walport doesn't have too many restaurants. Uh, Seal Rock has a Luna Fish there, which there's already one in Yahats, so you can just go to the one in Yahats. But Newport has a ton of restaurants. You can check out my videos on Newport that talk about the different places that you can go eat. But those are options. You might also go down to Florence if you want seafood. Um, so what are you looking at? You can stay in town in Yahats and get what you want. Um, you know, all the things that serve the roughly 800 people there. Or you can go up to Newport, get some better food, or you can go down to Florence and get some better food as well if you consider that better. Or you want to just take a, a drive, half hour to Newport, probably about 40 minutes down to Florence. Um, so we're talking about distances, we're talking about shopping, we're talking about restaurants. Let's talk about schools. So let's say you're going to live in Yahats and you are going to, you've got kids and you're going to send them to school. They're probably going to go to one of two places. They're either going to go to Walport. This is Walport, eight miles north. All the schools are right here on Crestview Drive. Um, excuse me, Crestline Drive. Um, I said Crestview because it's Crestview Heights School. That's the K through eight school. It's elementary school and it is the middle school. And then you've got your high school over here. Um, really nice facility just built uh, you can dive into that some people that live in the south they want to bring their kids up to Newport and that's a good spot as well for you to uh, take your kids to they've got good athletics they've got uh, good academics that's a good spot private school options there's not a ton there's a private school in Newport uh, I think there may be one in Florence and the other option that you could probably take your kids down to Florence and you could go to the Sayus Law Schools. Those are the options basically if you're gonna live in Yahats with a family, with kids, if you're not planning on homeschooling uh, for schools. Now let's talk about hospitals. Um, Florence has a small hospital in, in Florence, um, which you can do, I'm, you're probably not gonna go there though, because my guess is if you live in Yahats and you wanna have you know, reliable, not reliable, I'm not gonna say one place is more reliable than the other, but I'm gonna say, um, you know, just a newer experience. Newport has a brand new hospital that was built like three years ago. Okay, Samaritan um, in Newport. It is right here on the south end of Newport. It's about 25 minute drive probably. 
And then you also have a little uh, clinic in Walport that could also serve your needs. It's right on uh, Range Drive right here where it says Edward Taylor. That's actually a bigger clinic. I think he probably just has like an office there. But uh, it's an offshoot of the Newport Hospital. And so those are your options. Same thing. You're either going to go to Walport, Newport, or Florence. You're going to find out what specifically you need and go there. Uh, so that's that. The other thing that you're probably going to want to know about is, uh, you know, some people like to golf. There's a nine-hole course here in uh, Walport. It is a pretty nice spot, Crestview Golf Club. That's an option. If you want to go north, um, Newport has a golf course. Agate Beach Golf Course. It is right to the north of Newport. That's one thing that you can do. Um, it's right there. That's Agate Beach. If you want to go to one of the more highly decorated golf courses on the coast, you go to Salishan up in Lincoln City, or you can go down to Florence. Florence has a number of good courses down in the Florence area. Um, those are options for when you're golfing. Uh, what else would you want to know about? Activities. There's a bunch of activities. Um, there's a bunch of history stuff I can go over with Yahats. I'm not going to go over all those things. I just wanted to quickly go over a map tour of some different things about Walport, or excuse me, Yahats. And uh, that's about it. Um, one thing I'm going to say is you're probably going to make this drive quite a bit. This drive from Yahats to Florence. I have a video on that. You've got a number of different trails um, that you can you probably jump on. You know, there, and maybe just I'll hit these, but you've got the Amanda Trail. You've got the Oregon Coast Trail. You've got the 804 Trail, which is a famous trail. Um, you've got the Prospect Trail. You've got the Yahats Community Park and Wetland. That one's really cool. It's right in the middle of town. It's only about a half of a mile. It's about a 20 minute walk, but it's a good spot. Those are good options for when you're hiking in, um, in and around uh, Yahats. Now, what are what is the shopping like in Yachts? It's really just a bunch of small uh, shops and galleries, privately owned, small business owners. It's something that you're definitely going to want to go around, check out all the little shops. You've got antique shops, you've got you know art galleries, and you've got um, all all different types of little cool shops in Yachts that you're definitely going to want to go around and check um, those out. If you're going to be in Yachts, let's say you're going to come visit and you want to stay in some places. I'm just going to list off some good places that you might want to check out if you're in the Yachts area. I mean, obviously, Adobe is a great spot. It's right in the north part of the, uh, the city limits of Yachts, right on the ocean, right on the 804 Trail. Awesome. Ambrosia Gardens, bed and breakfast is a good spot. Uh, the Dublin House Motel is always a good spot to go to. I really like the Overleaf Lodge. They have um, a Tesla charger there, which might be nice for some. Um, but there's a lot of really cool places to stay um, in Yahats. Um, some of the things that happen throughout the year um, in Yahats, there's always the, the mushroom treasure hunt that you can go look at, where you know on Saturdays, basically October through March, um, there's going to be, you know, trail gnomes and mushrooms set out on different places around Yahats where you can go try to find them and discover them. That's a cool thing. They've got their, uh, they've got a couple different hikes and parades. I think they got one on New Year's called the New Year's Peace Hike. They've got arts and crafts fair and there's a bunch of other things that they do that is uh, pretty cool um, that you want to think about when you're moving to or thinking about coming to Yahats. Um, in the summer, it's going to be super busy. The traffic's going to be absolutely insane. Um, but it's kind of robust with how many people are there. It's, it's, it's fun, but you got to know your way around places. If you want to come and really see all the different places on the coast, you might want to come in the winter. You know, right now, there's not a ton of traffic. You can kind of get from city to city to city um, a lot faster. 
Uh, so those are things that you might want to think about if you're going to come and you're going to come check out all the cool things that Yahats and the Oregon Coast has to offer. Um, and, you know, when I'm thinking about what else I can share with you, I can just say this. If you're going to move to the Oregon Coast, you definitely want to not be enamored by the you know July and August weather. That's for sure. Um, you want to come in the winter and really check out what does hoodie weather mean? What does it mean to be... Um, gray for a week or two and raining and, and might only get a glimpse of blue sky once and then it's right back to rain uh, sideways winds gale force winds uh, storms where you think your windows are going to break uh, slick roads uh, you know not very much sunlight all those things are things that or Oregon coasties are very accustomed to and you're definitely going to want to get accustomed to it if you're going to move to the Oregon coast uh, obviously, anybody can live in the summers. I mean, it's windy, but it's beautiful. For and it, there's no rain for months on end, which is awesome. But it's really about those winter months. Can you survive them? And if you can, awesome, great job. Now, where do you want to live? Um, there's the big towns, uh, major cities on the Oregon coast. You know, starting north, you go Astoria, Seaside, Tillamook, Newport, uh, Florence, and Coos Bay, North Bend. And then maybe Brookings, those are the major cities, the smaller ones. You know, you got your your gold beaches, your Bandon, going south to north now. Uh, maybe Reedsport, uh, Walport, you know, Lincoln City, uh, Pacific City. Those are the smaller ones, and there's a couple more going north. And then you got the little ones, the ones, the small ones that people, they're like little treasures. They're gems on the Oregon coast, you know. You got Manzanita, you've got Garibaldi, you've got uh, the Tarts, you've got uh, Oceanside, you've got uh, Depot Bay, you've got you know, Seal Rock, South Beach. Um, South Beach is kind of like Newport. But uh, when you keep going south, then you got Yachts, you know, Walport. Those are just cool little towns all over. But there's in these little villages. Um, like Yahats that you definitely want to check out. So you want to check out all those. And if you've limited it under Yahats, you're like, man, I really want to get a spot here. Um, that's where you start really zoning in and taking a look at what Yahats, what, what do you want? What type of a home do you want? Where do you want to live in Yahats? Do you want to live on the beach side or do you want to live up on the hill? What kind of view do you want? What, what's important to you? What's your budget? Um, do you want uh, to build a new place, maybe get a lot and build something? Or do you want to... Uh, get into something that's already built so you can just kind of move here and get here that's something those are all questions you're going to want to answer if you narrow it down to whatever city you want to go to but if Yachts is the city you want to go to um, and you need more questions answered if you want some uh, details on a specific property in Yachts well make sure you give me a call maybe text me email me um, contact me and I can help you however you need help um, so I'm here for you but uh, yeah, that's our that's our short talk on Yahats. I hope it helped. Um, if there's any other information you need, make sure to contact me. I'll do the best I can for you. Until then, get after it. Have a great day.